you see him? Sands? Um, said swimming. He got it. Look at that. There's another monitor lizard. And that one's swimming through the water. In that flooded grass I was talking about. So hunting for different aquatic creatures to snack on. You can see its tongue coming out. Doing some testing, tasting. That's so cool. Now we have two species of monitor lizard here, the water monitor and the rock monitor. Uh, of course this, as you can see, is a water monitor. Now the water monitor is also uh, able, or the rock monitor, sorry, is also able to swim, but uh, would prefer not to. And there is another species of monitor lizard in Africa, which I've been lucky enough to see. And it's also very, very pretty. It's called the ornate monitor, and it is another type of water monitor. Now let's let him slither off. Or, oh, sorry, let's not slither. He's not slithering at the moment. He's swimming off. Uh, taking to James's idea. Except uh, if I was going to go have a swim, we have a perfectly good swimming pool at Inger's. Okay, well, I was hoping for an interesting bird or two, but looks there not to be too many around here. Just a map. Not the terrapins, up a little bit. There we go, there's a water monitor. A big one. And that was what Shungile missed. She nearly caught that big, or one of the big monitor lizards uh, a few days ago, but she ended up catching a baby one. So there we go. And of course, it, there always seem to be a lot of more monitor lizards at this particular water hole than the others. And I wonder why. Now. The main reason probably at the moment is that there's a lot more sort of vegetation in the water here, so drowned grass. So you're going to have a lot more aquatic insects and frogs that the monitor lizard is going to love feasting upon. And I like everything out here, they get feasted upon as well. Now, Kirk is wondering, uh, are we next to a natural water source? Uh, Kirk, this one is actually a man-made water source. So if we come out, you can have a look. Um, we're actually on the, the dam wall. So this is the Mwati River. And uh, there's a dam being put here many, many years ago. And what happens is that when it rains, the water flowing from upstream hits this big earthen wall and stops and forms a, a deep water source to the to the side of us. Now, let me see, I was trying to see what birds were in the tree, but it looks like they're just doves. 